email notification configures the recorder to send email when a particular event occurs. There are three categories of events. Camera events, which include motion detection, loss of video, video content analysis events, and others. These largely depend on the capability of the camera. Alarm input events, detected by switches or reporting devices wired to the alarm terminations on the back of the recorder. And exception conditions, such as illegal logins, HDD full, and others. To use email notification, the recorder must be connected to a network that has internet access, and an email account must be set up to accept email from the recorder. Open the main menu and then click the configuration icon. Note that the firmware screen shown in this video may be somewhat different from those of your Alibi recorder. However, the procedures for both are essentially the same. In the configuration menu, click Network. In the network screen, verify that your recorder is configured properly for your network and that the DNS server fields contain valid internet DNS server addresses. Next, click the Email tab at the top of the screen. Many of the settings in this screen depend on what your mail provider requires for you to connect to their email server. In the example here, a Gmail account was set up specifically for this device. So the parameters needed to connect to their SMTP server are specific for Gmail. First, click the Enable Server box to check it. In the SMTP server field, I entered the Gmail server address smtp.gmail.com Also, the current SMTP port for Gmail is 587. Also, click the Enable SSL TSL bot to check it should it be required by your email provider. In the Username field, I entered the email address of the account I set up on Gmail hbr3004h at gmail.com I also entered the password for the account in the field below. All notification emails will be sent through this account and will appear in my Gmail sent mail folder. Next, I entered my sender's name and email address, Yacht Harbor and HVR3004H at gmail.com. You can also send notification emails to up to three recipients through your, the email account you set up for this recorder. To do that, open the Select Receivers drop down list and select either Receiver 1, 2, or 3. Then you will enter the receiver name and address in the fields below. Here I entered Kevin, Kevin at Hotmail.com. If the capture file associated with the camera was generated when the event occurred, you can attach that file to the email by clicking the Enable Attached Picture checkbox. Open the interval dropbox list and select the time intervals between emails that are sent with your attached picture. Click Apply to save your settings and then test to verify that the SMTP and email account settings are correct. If those parameters are set properly, an email test succeeded message will appear. Otherwise, follow the instructions in the attention message and then retest your setup. For Gmail accounts, you may need to change your account settings to accept email from less secure applications. To do that, you'll want to open your Gmail client. If the message review block sign-in attempt appears, click the hyperlink allow access to less secure apps and then click turn on in the screen that opens retest your recorder email setup and verify that the test email message appears in the email server account also verify that the email was sent to the receivers you designated the test message received in the kevin at hotmail.com account is shown here open the main menu and then click the camera icon to enable email notification for a Camera 1 motion detection event, open the Motion menu. Ensure that Camera 1 is selected and motion detection is enabled. Click the Action icon. Set the trigger channel and arming schedule as needed and then click the Linkage Action tab. In the Action menu, click the Send Email box to check it. Click Apply and then click OK to close the window. The recorder is now configured to send email from motion detection on camera 1. Similarly, you can configure email notification on other events including video tampering, video loss, BCA events, and video quality diagnostics. Click the configuration icon and then open the exceptions menu. 
click the exception type field and select the exception type you want to configure. Click the send email box to check it and then click apply. Click the configuration icon, open the alarms menu and then click the alarm input tab. In this menu select the alarm input you want to monitor. Notice here alarm local 1 is selected and enabled. Click the settings icon and then set up the trigger channel and arming schedule for this alarm. Click the linkage action tab and click the send email box to check it. Click apply and then click OK to close the window. Click apply in the alarm input menu. 